Nikon D780. Who's this camera for? Well, D750 users, of course. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. So Nikon has recently announced its replacement for the D750. So I thought, since I'm a D750 <laughs> user, I'd give my two cents on what I, on what I think about this camera. It really doesn't really matter, but what I think about this camera. But I think I'm actually the target audience for the D780. Now the D750 has been my number two camera, kind of my backup, but it's also been my video camera. It's a, it's a really good walk around camera. I mean, it, it, it has rolls, it plays. Its price point is perfect for that. It's $1,000 cheaper than the nearest, over $1,000 cheaper than the nearest upgrade, I guess, or higher megapixel camera in the Nikon lineup. So it's perfect for that, that backup camera, that number two camera, or if I'm doing events or event photography or wedding photography or something like that, it would be my number one camera. I found the D750 to be extremely capable camera. In my head, it's the, my number two camera. But if my number one camera goes down, I'm not sure I'd replace it. It's proven to be a very capable camera to do just about any kind of photography that I'm doing right now. The D780 is the camera that I wish the D750 was. It's just, it's just improved all the areas, all the weaknesses that um, I've, I find in the D750, mainly in the video area. That alone might be the reason I pick one up if I want to stay with the F-mount for a while. That's not a bad strategy. There's there's tons of used lenses out there. And the, their new lens market is very robust. Every focal length you could want, is, they've got. So staying with the DSLR really, as far as business sense go, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. The lenses will probably be cheaper in most cases. And like I said, the, the used market is very deep with Nikon lenses. So there, there could be a case for the uh, DSLR for the next five years. Not everybody needs a mirrorless camera. I still don't think the mirrorless, when I've seen, I still don't think the mirrorless cameras can autofocus as well as their DSLR counterparts. Just a quick rundown on the specs. We got a 23.5 full frame sensor, backside illuminated, seven frames per second, ISO 100 to 51200, 4K video at 30p, a 51 point autofocus system, and in live view, a 273 point phase detection autofocus system with eye detect an XSEED 6 image processing engine, one eight thousandth of a second shutter, and two UHS-2 SD card slots. There's a lot more, but that's just kind of the, the quick rundown. <laughs> Those are the ones that matter the most to me. So the D780 is good for 
Everything in the 750 is good for weddings, portraits, documentary, just as a general all around camera at a mid range price. Robust, water sealed. I mean, it really sounds like a lot of camera for the money. Nikon has made it tough for photographers though, because it's, it's going to be a tough choice to decide between the Z6 and the 780. I mean, that's just, <laughs> I'm being honest. I mean, basically the same price, or they're going to be once things settle down, probably. I guess it just kind of depends on what you shoot, what you're comfortable with. If you don't want to change the way you shoot, you're happy with the way you've been doing it. This is a great camera for old farts like me who have a few lenses, have been in the Nikon system for a while and just don't want to uproot everything and, and go mirrorless right now. Quite happy with uh, the uh, F mount. And you know, in five years, probably everybody's gonna be shooting mirrorless. We may not have a choice. We're not there yet. And anytime you get choices, you get options, I think that's a good thing. So I'm gonna th say thank you, Nikon. Thank you for giving us a choice. Now, I wouldn't be surprised at all if, if this is kind of the last round of DSLRs coming out. And I appreciate that they took one of their cameras that hasn't been updated in a long time and kind of gave it um, one last uh, boost in technology for those people that have, have you know, want to stay with the DSLRs for a while. I appreciate that. I, I'm glad they just didn't let the D750 just fade away, rot on the vine or whatever, because it's it's a great platform. It's a, it's a price range that a lot of professionals uh, use and, and people that aspire to be professionals. That, that's a great price point for them. It's a lot of professional uh, features in a camera body without having to spend an extra thousand or more. And it really, it, it's a camera that meets probably 80, 90% of most photographers' needs anyway. Now the D780 really kind of addresses some of the weaknesses of this camera. Well, the biggest for me is the video. They're taking a, the uh, video features, a lot of them, I guess, from the Z6 and putting them in the D780, which to me is a fantastic idea. I mean, they're putting a touch, touch screen on the back. It's still live view, so you're gonna have to, that the form factor is probably not as nice as having it up to your eye but I'm, I'm used to that anyway for video. But if, if I've got face detect or eye detect, that really opens up a lot of uh, autofocus features that would be things that opens up areas that I, I couldn't normally try with the camera I have now. Basically, they're putting really good video tools and specs into a D750 body. And <laughs> that's to me, that's pretty cool. I like that it has dual car slots, and I also like that it has the same card slots. I, I, I just have never understood why Nikon would, when they designed cameras with dual car slots, would put two different types of card slots. Something that's been left off that might be an issue for some photographers. I don't think there's a vertical grip for this camera. I don't use them, I don't really care for them, but I do know that a lot of people do use them and, and really like them so that that could be an issue for a lot of people for me it's not and i'm just going by what i my needs <laughs> I, I don't know what everybody else needs i don't need a vertical grip i like I, I appreciate the compactness of this camera and that's kind of one of the reasons i have it as my second body i wanted something smaller i like having a couple different types of cameras i'm not all in on one camera body style i I can, I can go between the two. Another feature that might be of concern to some photographers is the pop-up flash. I don't think it's gonna have a pop-up flash. I think that, unless I missed it in the specs. 
again, that's not an issue for me because I never use the pop-up flash on my uh, on my D750. It's nice to have that as an option, and knowing it's there. But if I was to be honest about it, I've actually never used mine. So, you know, I, I don't mind not having it. And there are benefits to not having it as well as, as having it for design purposes. And those are, those are really the only um, negative negatives I have with the camera, or that could be negatives as far as I could see. There's a lot more positives, I think, than negatives. Well, that's just my two cents. <laughs> it's just my opinion. <laughs> if I haven't showed you any of my photos yet in this video, here's a few shots I've taken over the last couple of years with a Nikon D750. And I think I'm going to end this video right here. Until next time, this is coming off the ride.